show for about three months now. Um, and it has been an incredible journey that these students have allowed me to take with them. Um, it has started from a group where we were just a bunch of random people who came together to create something awesome. They have worked incredibly hard. They have come in on Saturdays. They have come in on Sundays. They have stayed late. They have come in early. And they have worked harder than I've seen them work on anything since I've been here with them. Um, when I was in college, I read, this, read somewhere that glorious theater makes family from all sorts of orphans. And that's something that's kind of followed me throughout my theatrical career. And these guys proved it to me unequivocally. If you think Shakespeare's pretentious crap, why are you even here? I hate Shakespeare. It's ironic. Now you tell me. Ooh, Hamlet, your uncle has killed me and taken my crown and wood. Not to mention your bathroom. Dad, cover yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Each other. 
Thank you and good night. <laughs> Shakespeare in a can? What's that? It's the revolutionary new product that provides you with the right words at the right time. Now let's see that again. <laughs> it was full of you to suggest a picnic. It was full of you to make up the beach. Hey, that man can sit on me. Excuse me, sir. I think you owe the lady an apology. Say, you're right. Ma'am, I'm so really terribly sorry that you're forced to spend the day with such a diminutive, irresolute, pathetic washout. Well, I never can't say something. Thou art a fool born canker blossom. What? You heard me. <laughs> yeah? Well, I'm rubber. You are glue. Anything you say bounces off of me and sticks to you. <laughs> Methinkest thou art a general offense, and every man should beat thee. You better leave us alone. <laughs> yeah, or what? Or. <laughs> you starving, you eel skin, you bull's pizzle, you dried meat tongue, eel skin, stockfish, I'll call you a poisonous bunch bag toad. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Gentlemen, give me your hands. We must needs die. Brain! You're right, this is 
Moss tried to play Ira. I'll get started on it right away. And now, Zombie Theater proudly presents Orange Julius Caesar Salad. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, there they are. Sorry, that's Julius Caesar. <laughs> And now it's time to bring out our three lucky bachelors. Bachelor number one. <laughs> Please tell us your name and a little something about yourself. Dude, my name is Romeo Montague. I live in Verona Beach and I like dueling and surfing and skateboarding and getting along with the ladies. Ugh. And I hate the Catholics. Mark is rule! Hi, Jim. I'm Paris. And I'm a Count. And I live in Verona. And I'm looking to get married. Wow, so you're pretty serious about this. I am. Uh, I'm Bob. I'm a claims gesture for a major insurance company. Uh, I think I'm in the wrong. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> and now, let's make the bachelor you did choose. His name is Bob Hoffman. He's an insurance claims adjuster from Columbus, Ohio, who likes bowling and sweaters, and here he is. We're getting married! We're getting married! <laughs> what? He said you believe in love and marriage, so do I! What is she talking about? You don't love me? I don't even know who you are. But I know you. Well, I'll look in your eyes and I knew we were meant to be together forever. It's written in the stars. Stars? What stars? He's spurning me. He doesn't love me. I have no reason to live. Eyes, look your last. Arms, take your last embrace, and lips, all you have the doors of breath, seal with a righteous kiss. Come bitter conduct, come unsavory guide. Thou death, thy seasick pile of dash against the rocks. Here's to my love. O oh, true apothecary, thy drugs are quick, thus. With a kiss, I die. Uh, do I still get that weekend in Van Nuys? I'm afraid it's only one more. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you next time. We'll meet again. If we shadows have offended, think of this and all is mended. That you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear, and this weekend at all thing. No more yielding, but a dream. Gentles do not reprehend. If you pardon, we shall mend. And as I am an honest fuck, if we have unearned luck, else escape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. Else look like a liar call, so good night unto you all. Give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends.